know they say that if God gives you a gift and you don't use it, he'll take it away. And you don't need to sit me around a circle of people with the same problem for me to admit that I have an addiction and I abuse it every chance I get. See, I now realize God gave me a gift so I no longer fight this. And I can't recall how many times I've called in sick just so I could write this uninterrupted with no distractions, no corruption, just me and my thoughts dancing with each other's hearts until our wrists give way to my lips taking over. I got my first hit back in high school. Didn't like the feeling so I quit. But after my nana died and best friend got murdered, I went back to old habits, embraced being an addict, just like my biological mother. We were both addicted to doing lines. Looking for that next find, that next fix. And you know what's worse? I now got my son doing this. And what comes out is beautiful medicine. Music to your eardrums, this this ink is intoxicating. I never want to be sober. Prentice Powell is an addict. Tell a friend. Tell a friend I have something valid to say in a time when broken down the dopest lies disintegrate to nonsense. In a time where a man who puts his heart into his art gets overlooked because his work contains content, so call me a junkie. Maybe that's the reason why my son left home, because I'm an addict. Who wants to see that? Now I only have to worry about him out there, I also have to worry about his mother out here, hoping that she doesn't find my stash and go down the same path just to cope with the pain. Man, this is messing up my family. Call me contaminated. When the words on the radio have 12 year olds walking around seeking affection, walking around brain dead, thinking with their erections, living with no fear, we have rappers telling their peers how to live. Stay strapped, pocket jack. Says the man with 13 kids who still hasn't realized he's in the streets using the wrong kind of protection, so I'm constantly trying to find new ways of connecting to brothers who live lives so backwards you would think they were dyslexic. Let us break it down for you. That understand love and hurt of space a from bright eye. I write from a place of love and hurt. Please understand. Me. From learn to person one, at least have they so sons my full right eye. I write for my sons so they have at least one person to learn from. Now it get you do? Do you get it now? We're, we're living blind, blind with our right, right eye open and, and left closed. closed. Expose the videos, holes and ball and hang I gonna lie, I tried to kick this poetry stuff. I don't know what happened. That pen kept calling. Man, a lot of people call me a good father when insight into my personal life, but I tell them don't look. Because if they did, I'm scared they see how many, how many times, times I neglected my kids, kids for my notebook. notebook. I'm constantly on Twitter checking to see if my poetry gets a mention. And I hate going in hotel rooms when I tour because I'm afraid of walking into an intervention. <laughs> I'm all right, right now. now. I swear sometimes that I caught with Gil Scott guy. What? Feel like a shell of my former self, a turkey without the stuff. And last night I threw on some mid-60s soul music and was itching for my pen again. Now I'm on my David Ruffin, this temptation is so strong. I got people telling me to hold on, but how could I do so when the most therapeutic thing to do in my life is to write and simply let go? This pressure is Sam cooking my brain, Marvin Gaye. Gone. Amy Winehouse. Gone. Kurt Cobain. Gone. Either by pen or syringe. Being in front of these mics is like being high on a five-day coke binge. This, this is my life. life. This ain't for everyone. You gotta have strong veins because this can cut deep. Hi, my, my name, name is Prentice, and I'm no. an actor. I never asked to be here. I never wanted my face on a t-shirt, a sticker, a sweater. I was just trying to get home to my daughter. Now who's gonna tuck in the bed every night and tell her her daddy loves her? Who's gonna tell her that? They say how you start your year is how you end it, but I woke up on my stomach and went down on my back. You got the nerve to label me Lavelle Mixon a monster all because I shot four cops, pulling me over for expired tags when fools be selling hella keys of coke all up and down the boulevard. Man, where I come from, it seems like pigs kill us more than we kill pigs. So I'll be damned if I let these pigs give me the same fate they gave Oscar. Grant isn't even from Oakland. I mean, how can I be a thug when I cut meat for a living? Now I'm not the heaviest dude in the streets where the brother approaches me. I wasn't raised to turn the other cheek, but still, I didn't deserve that bullet. Man, you acting like you're the only one with a story to tell, but I had a life too. But all the media wants to talk about are parole violations and assault charges. Man, nobody gives a what you yapping. That's why brothers like me keep packing. So wise up, pull up your skirt and shut up, black. I'd rather die on my two feet holding heat than get shot in my back. What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Brothers, brothers 
feels like you are the reason we put our families on t-shirts So I'm supposed to feel like this is some kind of an honor So now my face is being sold, marches are being held But ain't none of this gonna get me back to my daughter And don't it kill you inside to know nowadays we are more significant dead than we are alive So please, save that revolutionary talk for somebody who wants to hear that Because every shot that you shot when you popped them four cops another bullet in my back Man, I had your back when I was sitting in the back of that closet with my skeleton and that semi-automatic weapon, I did this for you. I went out like any real G would, a rider. I did this for that pig who thought his revolver was a taser. Don't you hate the way these cops treat us? Of course I do, but let's be real. Don't act like you did that for me. Because if we came between some trained stranger and my child, I sure as heck would not be doing it for you. Man, forget what you're talking about. My death was legendary. Your death was pointless. You died in vain. And trust me, marches after the fact don't mean a thing when people are throwing trash cans through storefronts in honor of your name All, All I, I wanted, wanted to do was go home. home So don't sit up here and talk to me about what you did Cause you blew the chance for you or any of them full cops to ever go home to see their What? Kids? I had a kid too Look at me Look at you Brothers like you are the reason my trial got moved that's you they see every time my death tape gets a hit on YouTube That's you they saw when they pulled me off that bar train I, I am, am not, not you, we, we are, are not cousins. cousins, you ain't cut from the same cloth In no way are we related, but people don't see that You're constantly standing over my shadow, blocking my light You're like that monkey, I just can't seem to get off of my back I was once a certified plumber Love my daughter more than life itself. Something that night just went wrong I just keep asking myself, what did I do wrong? All, All I, wanted I wanted to do was go home, home. The white man don't run this country. No Asians, Italians, or Jews understand, understand that, that we run, run this country because, because black men are being used as batteries. Package exposed and exploited to run this country. Jump, Jump dance, and dunk for this country. country. Basically, Basically being ran by this country like batteries. like batteries. My brothers who are copper tone get used like copper tops. Harass when the copper stops. Get, get a felony and they snatch us off our blocks. 100,000 black men are in and out of prison daily. You do the math. That's 100,000 gigawatts from bed New York, Chicago, Oakland, down the watch. If we ain't power in these jail cells, we too busy on the block getting shot. Another dead black man and we ain't even shocked because they've hotwired our minds to be desensitized like batteries. Slaving for the man blowing our backs out. Waiting for welfare like assembly lines. Don't be surprised, they're pulling the wool over your eyes. A new word for genocide in 2012 is a blackout batteries. It doesn't matter if it's drug dealing, credit card scam, murder, or assault, and batteries. batteries. 18 in a package. You might call them prison buses, but I call them the new millennium slave ships. Batteries. batteries. Call us double A's. That's, That's African Americans going, going to the, the pen, pen making pennies. pennies. Black men manufacturing clothes for Old Navy to Gap and JC Pennies. Shoes, Shoes made by pennies like batteries. batteries. Adults being used as volts. Get a felony, brother, you lost your right to vote. They want you to know there is no hope. You are destined for doom. If they could, they would try to get to you in the womb. My babies are being used as triple A's. Power in the country and spy for the CYA. That's, That's why, why they, they call these things charges. charges. So we can power this country like batteries. Help fat cats pockets get puffed. Take that, take that. Behind my back, they probably calling me a Jigaboo Energizer Jungle Bug. Where I come from, my electric company is called PG&E. That's Pushing, pushing genocide, genocide Efficiently. And that's an acronym for your man. 1,000 cops from a simple prop because the city and state need that gas, man. The government needs somebody to power these lights. From the casinos in the Mississippi to the bright lights in Vegas. From Mumia. Geronimo Pratt. Asada Shakur. Trayvon Martin. And Troy Anthony, Anthony Davis. Davis. I can see the ass now. Black, Black men in prison. prison. We keep going and going and going. Please know that these words are coming from the mother of your son but from the man that is raising your son more than you. Understand that I'm trying to give you an opportunity to redeem yourself for not being there for me by allowing you to be there for them. How am I considered the stepfather when you're the one that walked out of our son's life? And it kills me that I have to say our son like we have some type of joint custody. When reality is you haven't been in the picture for a long time. It feels like I'm raising two children, him and you. But he listens when I say real men keep their words while you, you keep on making more excuses and phone calls and visits. And it feels like I'm failing as a father because I'm protecting you more than I'm protecting him, which in ways makes me just as bad as you. Not once has my son been old enough to give you a hug or verbally tell you he misses you. And I hate the fact that it wasn't until I became a dad that I began to have these daddy issues. I feel like a grown man who needs to see a child therapist, but I don't want to admit that you are done to me. Because a part of me wants my sons to experience what I didn't get to. The feeling of missing you. Not because I barely knew you, but because they love your company. Why didn't you show up to his last birthday? Checking your cold pride and ego at the same door that he kept staring at. Waiting for you to come through. I would do 
anything for our son, including picking you up from bus stations and train stops just to make you look more responsible. I don't know what lingering beef you have with your ex, and I really don't care. But despite our son just to get back at her to me seems childish. Why, Why didn't you, you just give up? And started making empty promises you couldn't feel you Creating an anthill of sweet sounding visions of what we were going to be something But that someday was yesterday Now it's broken promises to a three Fourteen Year old boy who believes anything you say So when you, you tell him, him next week, week you're, you're going, going to see him, him That's what, what he, he expects. expects I'm not asking you to pay a half of anything I've got that covered All I'm asking you to do is meet me halfway That's the very least that you can do And I wish I'd put you on a pedestal at some point in my life So that I could just knock you down Because it's a weird feeling being jealous of myself and envious of my own children since birth because their father is actually around. All I am asking from you is to be a grandfather figure and I hope my son breaks every record I've ever set including having more than just four pictures with you. Sometimes he's afraid of trying because failure to him means he's becoming more like you. Everybody has written you off except for me. But I'm trying to give you a lifeline, a helping hand to witness the beauty of this young man. And I know this may not bring us any closure but if this is the last time we speak to each other just know I'll name my my son after your father in hopes that it would bring us closer. He likes money. Like you. He likes cars. Like you. He likes girls. Like you. And he loves to run. Like you.